let's actually bypass the user access control to do privilege escalation on a Win 10 machine. So we start as usual with the if you haven't watched the first video of, of, of the Win 10 series, please watch it so you'll know how we get here. Now, as usual, you need to make sure that you don't have the you do settings and make sure that the Windows Defender is set off because even when you turn it off, when you reboot the machine, the system automatically puts it back on. So now uh, we have the curator system here, no offenses. We go and open a browser and as usual go to the 172.16.60.124 my love64.exe and we download that file and we have it in the download directory. We execute that without any privileges just double clicking on it and we have a session right now the problem with this session is that this session cannot escalate privileges so if I do uh, sessions interactive one as we have done in the WinNT case, in the WinNT, in the Win7 case, and we do get system, it's going to fail. Now, here in Metapreter, well, let's actually go to the curator and see that curator, of course, as, as before, detected the first part of the attack. If we refresh here, we see that we have two events because the initial phase of the attack was uh, detected. Now, in fact, if we want, we can even close this offense to start with a clean slate. Right. So that part of the attack took place and now we are going to escalate privilege. So what you need to do is send this session to the background because this session is a plain vanilla session cannot escalate the privilege so we send it to the background because we're going to use it as a uh, as a, a trampoline as we did uh, before and uh, just to give you a little idea of how to use some of the things in in, in here in MetaExploit if we use the command search and we put bypass UAC it gives you a bunch of options. The option we are going to try is actually this one. Let me grab this FOD helper, right? So I'm copying that into the clipboard, and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be do use and then we paste the content of the clipboard for using that exploit and one more caution these attacks sometimes are not very reliable you need to try them multiple times but uh, hopefully it's going to work uh, it's going to work fine so now we need to put the first session the plain vanilla one so we do actually set session one as the trampoline and now we're going to do exploit this is you're going to see that it opens a, a powershell on the target machine you see that briefly that that blinky what was that well you know and we got a se second session open now the virtue of this second session is that if we do get system we got system and then if we go we ask for a shell and we ask who am I we are system we are ultra powerful and we can do all the other attacks that you have seen me doing on the win 7 machine once you achieve uh, the privilege escalation 
Now, if we switch to Curator, remember that we deleted the first offense that detected the the, fir the invocation of the mylove64.exe, and now notice that this attack is there are a couple of things that that are uh, complex, and notice that it detected all those techniques being being actually used. This is a fileless UAC bypass using for helper. So now I'm not going to be doing videos on every combination of the things, but now with the uh, achievement of persistence in Win 10 and um, the privilege escalation, you are pretty much set. Maybe if I get the time, I'm gonna maybe consult with Mutas and see if we find a way of bypassing the Windows Defender, and that will be the only thing to make sure that you can practice both attacks on both uh, on both type of platforms. Uh, but as you can see, this attack can subvert the defenses. And you want to make sure that you at least detect one of these techniques. You don't need to detect them all. One single rule is what you need to get an offense that invites you to find that uh, attack.